In 2010 the former Chief Secretary to the Treasury, Liam Byrne, left a letter for his successor in the coalition government David Laws saying, Dear Chief Secretary, I'm afraid to tell you there's no money left. Do you expect a similar letter should you become Chief Secretary to the Treasury in a future Labour government? Well, look, it's very clear after 14 years of the Conservatives in government that if we are to win the election this year, we will have the worst fiscal inheritance of any party since the Second World War. Uh, that means that we're going to have to make some very difficult decisions, but it also shows why it's so important that we get the economy back on track, which is why we will fight this election on the economy and we're very confident in doing so. Tell me, Darren, how bad is the British economy? Is it as bad as most seem to believe? Well, the trouble is, is that if you look at the stats or the books of the British economy, uh, we're currently in recession. Uh, when you measure economic growth per person across the country, it's been downgraded now for seven quarters. That's the longest period of decline for people's uh, living standards since the 1950s when records began. And we've got the highest tax burden the country's had since uh, the Second World War. And that means that the economy is in a bad state for people. And that's why we've got to get it back on track after 14 years of failure from the Conservatives. And what really matters here in Peterborough is the everyday economy, whether it's meeting businesses like we're doing today at British Sugar through the Chambers or visiting residents using food banks, people aren't feeling the benefit of the economy in their pocket. And we know one in four jobs in this city is chronically insecure. And the job of a Labour government is to turn that around and bring not just better income to families but better opportunities for people's children to get on in the future. The Conservative MP here in Peterborough makes great issue of what he has done to secure investment, what he has done to persuade government to release funds for the city, and so on. We know MPs have influence but what happened to collegiate working and recognising others, such as City Council, Combined Authority and many others who work together for the better good of our citizens. Yeah, I think the most important word that an MP can use is the word we or the word us. People are fed up too much of politicians trying to be superheroes or claim the credit for work. What we know about Peterborough is that we achieve more and we win bids from government and we get investment when we work together, whether that's community groups and businesses, the city council or combined authority. My job as our next MP will be bringing the community together because we know we've got real challenges and I think we need to put aside the Yabu politics we've seen in the past and start rebuilding a new politics where people work together and achieve common aims for the common good. You're here today alongside Andrew Pakes, can you? hand on heart, recommend an MP's life to him. Many MPs are quitting this time round, maybe because they feel they can't win or maybe they have simply had enough of the way we govern. Well, look, to have a good local MP is to have a hard-working MP. Uh, Andrew gets that. All of our Labour candidates get that across the country. And I think in some areas, when people look to their local MPs and maybe they don't see them very often, maybe they're not very active, they wonder, you know, what type of service are we getting here locally? How are we being represented by our MP? And that's why Andrew's working so hard here in Peterborough to show as a candidate how he will operate as the MP if he's elected later this year. A big issue across Cambridgeshire and elsewhere has been the method we use to fund local government. Will Labour change that or are we stuck with waiting till the 11th hour each year to see what government hands down to local councils? Surely reform of local government finance is long overdue. So local authorities, the councils that we have across the country, have had a very, very difficult number of years under the Conservatives. And we've committed to doing a number of things if we win the election uh, this year. The first is we're going to give longer term budget um, security. So at the moment, councils get an annual budget and they're constantly trying to wait to see what's coming next. We will go back to what should be standard, which is a three year uh, spending commitment uh, for local authorities. The other issue is that local authorities often get told what their budget is at the very, very last minute. And we said we're going to bring that forward to give them more notice but also we're committed to devolving public services to local communities so that it's not officials in Westminster that get to decide what happens in parts of the country but local people that get to decide and that will make it easier for local authorities to deliver for local people. Finally, what on your visit to Peterborough has given you, or could give you, some optimism that life for our residents will be better under Labour? Well, just as in Peterborough, as across the country, I think people are crying out for change. They feel after 14 years of the Conservatives in office worse off than they started in 2010 when the Conservatives came into office, whether it's the cost of living, the price of your rent or mortgage, or the rate at which your pay increases. People know that they've been failed on the economy. That's time for change, and that's why Labour's setting out our promises to get Britain's future back and to make people better off in this election. Thank you. You've been listening to me, Freddie. Cam's News' AI interviewer and narrator. Remember to visit us at www.camsnews.co.uk. Unveiling the truth, one story at a time.